Good day, traders. Mindset reset. It's uh, Tuesday, day two, and today we're going to talk about a couple of things. I'm going to answer some questions, and I'm going to talk about uh, creating an expertise in the setups that you resonate the best with. So, number one, um, last night, uh, Asian session, a great pump and dump parabolic pound Aussie. Sorry, Pound New Zealand, Euro New Zealand both gave very similar trades right off a of closing price. Again, you'll notice lower lows without taking out or just slightly taking out the low of the week on Monday and the pump up into the close. That's the setup going into a day two for a range expansion. Day two expands the range for a potential pump and dump. Beautiful coil underneath of closing price, a little lower low and a pump up for the dump. Now, couple questions with relation to that trade. Number one, that trade re is repeating every week on a different instrument uh, if we get the pump and dump template. Number two, uh, one trader says, would you really put size on that? Now, here's, here's what I want you to understand. When you look at a five-minute chart, understand which time frame is driving those levels. When you're going to get a range expansion and you have a pump up for the dump, now a measured target, that is driven by other time frame traders. Day two expands the range. And the size is not the same as the greedy bastard trade. Three days of rise. We're talking about an opportunity for a five star 90 10 opportunity. And size is always relative to your account. So when traders say, would you put size on that? What size is relative to your account? The confidence I have in that setup is extremely high. And why is that? Because it shows up again and again and again. Asia establishes that range. Day two, expanding the range on a pump and dump template, which comes in to my next point. Now, as I talk about my friend Stephen in New Jersey, loves to uh, trade reversals, um, indexes, gold and oil mainly. And I look at those setups, and one of the things that I want to talk to traders about today is understand the importance of when and when markets break those levels high of day low of day high of week low of week levels we have oil trapped inside of friday and uh, monday thursday friday and monday's low we're inside but it still gave a pump at 9 a.m into the closing price level for the dump beautiful chart but in terms of selecting best trade candidates so we had gold lower lows coming off of the breakout in london and three levels of rise right to 820 820 currency markets gold start trading on my chart with the timings window on it oil 9 a.m right to the number number 9 a.m they pump the oil at 820 they drop it straight down on the pump and dump three levels a, a little sideways consolidation double top when a market goes sideways it's getting ready for a parabolic move you're inside but it's a large enough range in terms of risk reward to be able to nail and bail on that trade on gold we saw a larger pump and dump that occurred. First hour puts in a low. Second hour, higher highs. Third hour pumps up into the high of the week, high of the year, high of the month, consolidates sideways, engulfs back inside of our universal EMA for over a 100 pip dump, pump and dump. Now, today the indexes, if you go back and look at the Canadian dollar last week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, pump day, consolidation inside day, signal day, dump day. If you look at the indexes, we have pump day on Friday, inside day on Monday, false break, high of Monday for the pump and dump template on NASDAQ and S&P, DJ30 pumped into the lower peak formation high that was inside of the range, consolidated and coiled inside the EMA at closing price for a range expansion dump. Same template as last Monday on the Canadian dollar. That's right out of the playbook. My, now my point is this, if you are struggling to be consistent or you're sitting on charts for hours and marking up a bunch of different charts, that's going to it's going to lead you into missing trades. It's going to be screen jumping, screen hopping. And I love what Steven does because he waits for one of the markets to break out 
at the timing window, not before the timing window, at the timing window for the reversal opportunity. Now today you couldn't have had a more perfect opportunity on both NASDAQ, S&P, DJ30. Now in my, my choice was S&P and the reason why is if you go back and look inside of the charts, we had nice tight coil underneath on the S&P at closing price with the lower low, the lower low before the pump. NASDAQ gave a lower low, but we had peak formations inside. Now they both still went on range expansions. DJ30 still went on range expansions. But what I really loved about the S&P was that right away we get our break in structure. But it's 15 minutes. Everything is timed and measured. So, you know, I keep telling traders, don't worry so much about counting little pushes and and M's and W's, pay attention to the clock, but understand the setup. If it's a pump and dump setup, we've broken structure, we pump back up, they've locked in the high. Now we should see that coil, the little lower low and the pump for the recoil. Now here's the thing, it's a one minute chart, but who's driving that market? We had a large dumping day on Thursday, large dumping day on Thursday, the greedy bastard dump. Who's driving the market? It's a pump and dump template, taking out the lows of the inside day. So we've got our signal day, we've triggered inside day traders uh, or traders who were looking for the first green day. That is not a first green day template today. First green day is a low of day, low of session buying opportunity if it presents, which means it would be a dump and pump type of setup as we saw last week on the yen cross pairs on uh, free cash Wednesday. So. That setup, though, is is basically like Stephen has mastered that. He knows he 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 doesn't even bother wasting his time with everything else because he knows that's where his expertise is. And then some several traders have messaged and commented today that they've been back testing and looking at specific signal days and really isolating on those. And they're starting to see the opportunities. And this is why I keep focusing on simplicity. And if you're marking all these other things up, you're missing the big picture. The big picture. The days themselves tell the story. The levels and the day count. Day one, day two, day three. What type of setup do we have? What type of three-day count do we have? So here's an example of a three-day setup. Friday, Monday, Tuesday. Why is that a three-day setup? Because today is Tuesday and the last three days are Tuesday, Monday, Friday. It's that simple. Yesterday we could have had on some instruments, we could have had a Thursday, Friday, Monday three-day setup. Now tomorrow's Wednesday, which means we're going to be looking for a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We've got major red news. We're still front side until tomorrow. But pump and dump. Now some traders are long biased and they like dump and pumps. Gold's been giving great dump and pumps. We had pump and dump and dump and pump. We've had reversal opportunities, but, but it's given two great pump and dumps in the New York session today. But the biggest thing is sitting on your hands and paying attention to the clock. So important and the levels. Now gold was inside. So that's a dead giveaway. It's a dead giveaway. No major red news. But it's inside of the high and the low. It's inside of the high and the low. So when we get that three level pump up into 8.20 a.m. A coil sideways. That's the dump into the longs from the London session, the parabolic long from the London session. And if you go back and look at your longer time frame, you'll notice a big lift candle and all the volume was above that lift candle in the London session. That's low hanging fruit on the dump. That traps some shorts down low. The second hour starts, they're higher highs, higher lows. Pumping and pumping, third hour begins, they pump it up. Don't quite get to the high before coiling sideways, but you'll notice where they did go was they went onto the smaller time frame, the very high of the day, one minute chart. They've got the, the shorts from the London session at the high of the year, high of the month, high of the week, high of the day from the coil that 6, 6.30 a.m. hour that sold the dump. Then that market just went down vertical. But whenever you see that choppy price action pumping back and forth, sit on your hands and wait for that coil sideways for the dump. So a couple of things with that. Master one of the two. Understand, there are no, there are, I say this all the time, there's only two setups, no matter how you're trading, whether it's trend trades. You know, if you go and look at Monday on the yen cross pairs, first green day, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Friday, first green day, 
but they coiled in the U.S. session at the high of the day on the euro yen, a beautiful coil. Coiled sideways at the high of the day on a first green day trade that had already put in a peak formation low without taking out the high of the week from last week, Thursday's high. Now that's an example again of a three-day setup. A dump day, sideways, a first green day, and then a market, how does price behave? It puts in a peak formation low. It coiled sideways in the U.S. session. The yen cross pairs were coiled sideways. We don't often get that. They're coiled sideways with other time frame traders driving that move for a beautiful continuation trade in the U.S. window. That's just an example of a session trade. First green day dump and pump, a three day dump and pump template blowing off on the third session. Today, indexes, textbook perfect. They just broke just prior to the, the 930 New York Open. They broke the high and then they break out 15 minutes. So remember time. Sit on your hands, be patient. They break it, the death candle. They pump it back up into that right shoulder, coil it for the dump. Little hesitation for 15 minutes at closing price. And the drop right through the low of the day, through the inside bar traders and a range expansion on the downside. Everything is timed and measured. So if you master something, if you master one setup, master what day is it? We're on, we're on day three in a three-day setup. They might be going back down towards the low of the week. We haven't taken out a weekly level. But the setup was the pump and dump. It's day two. They're going to expand the range. This could be a day where I might leave a trailer on because if this thing keeps going, okay, if it hesitates or it starts to coil towards the end of the day, lock in the money, and that, that last parcel, whatever that may be. We have CPI tomorrow. I think CPI tomorrow, PPI Thursday, something like that. Could be some major moving. Now, I want to say this in closing. So, if you're trading markets that are inside, again, understand you're trading something inside. Whatever that is, I don't care. But my expertise, like Stevens, is I want to trade markets that have already broken a level. If it's a three-day coil for a parabolic explosion, okay, we're still going to see higher highs and higher lows coiling. And we'll see that market break out and pull back. That's the dump and pump. The dump and pump set up in a parabolic market as opposed to a pump and dump market in a market that is going to dump. So, huge moves today. Congratulations, traders. Uh, we have uh, an interesting week so far. Gold is, is just, you know, huge ranges. Um, opportunities inside nail and bail in a market that's broken out right at high of day level so notice the lower low in london again right when the session start before the session starts in that last hour before the u.s session it breaks through the level and pumps up three levels and coils sideways so we're above closing sorry high of day level levels trades down into higher level longs it's always about levels the market moving sideways at a level pump and dump Market pumps back up to the high of day, high of year, high of week level. Coils inside, vertical 100 pip drop. Slamming all the longs that were chasing that move up high. Uh, but the indexes were awesome. There was a short squeeze on the Canadian dollar. Got traders shorting down. It's an inside day. Broke down before coiling sideways and popping back up inside and going vertical. I think for a 25 pip, just a parabolic 25 pip session trade. Uh, tight stop, second hour. I think it was beginning of end of sec end of second hour for the vertical explosion back up. Uh, but I cannot emphasize enough to master the pump and dump or the dump and pump template. Whatever one you resonate with. But if you're long biased, master the dump and pump opportunities. If you're short biased, master the pump and dump opportunities. Understand what the significance of the levels are. So. I could be on a one minute chart, but if it's being driven by longer time frame traders, fantastic. I'm about to position myself in a move that's going to go because there's a lot of oomph behind that. It's not just me getting in on a one minute chart. The levels represent other time frame traders. The levels represent other time frame traders. Then what is the template? What is the larger three day setup? What are the, 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 the hypotheses? In this potential opportunity what if this then that scenario if this happens 
How does price need to behave in order for me to get into this market? 15 minutes. Pump. Break down. Pump, 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 pump. End of a 15-minute cycle. New candle. New 15-minute cycle. We're already engulfing and coiled for the explosive move down to closing price. 15 minutes sideways. Explosion down again. Huge day. Huge day. Congratulations, traders. So... Sitting on my hands, not marking up all levels and got 20 charts open. I'm looking at three or four. Which ones are right there? When we get to the timing window, what's happening? Okay, is there a level involved? Lower lows, gold first hour. There's no major red news. I'm looking at 820, 820, 820. I'll put that timing chart up again today. I'm going to do another uh, technical video on this specifically, pumping, pump and dumps. Master, master those two templates, pump and dump, dump and pump. If you're not sure, don't trade it. Uh, keep it so simple. Keep it so simple and high probability that you cannot fail. And then whether you're going to add, add, if you're breaking your, your parcel into thirds, taking one off, taking another one off, leaving a trailer, you know, whatever that potential may be. Knowing when, so for example, if, I, if I'm short bias, knowing not to short a market that's on the front side going in the opposite direction just because it's up high or if it is and it's a great setup nailing and bailing at the levels but if i have a larger bigger template setting up stepping back the greedy bastard trade how does the greedy bastard trade set up dcbs the dcb trades the larger bigger picture opportunities whether they're again like you know again the yen cross pairs last week first green days um they weren't coming back they pumped up on thursday Day two on the back side. That's a first red day template for the dump at the end of the session. Same thing we saw on the, the indexes and on several other instruments. End of day reversal, oil, those sorts of situations. But it's always about the levels. That's where other time frame traders can come into the market. So if you want to increase the high probability nature of the trade opportunity that you're about to take, focus on the levels. Keep it simple. Have a great day, traders. May the markets go with you.